The group started out as the original lineup of the Sugar Babes, but after a bit of a breakup and more than 10 years apart, Mucha Buena, Keisha Buchanan, and Javon Donaghy are back by popular demand. And the trio have rebranded themselves as MKS, their first name initials. And in a moment, we're going to hear their new single and find out about the upcoming tour. But first, let's remind ourselves of their original sound. <laughs> Amazing. Well, the oh years something just... embarrassing in there for all of us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you look great. Didn't we were like you? 15 and 16 yeah. years old then, so we cringe. We cringe. I was cute. I was cringe. But it's you cute. were so mm. cool, oh, weren't you? Thanks. That, that, <laughs> they were just you. Were, was it nerves or was it just you? Were, it was very stylized. Just uh, the sitting on the chair. I think it was a bit, yeah. bit of both. We were literally put out there and we didn't do the whole stage score. It literally was just friends who grew up together and. We just went on stage and we were like, oh, okay, we'll just sing so the, then. The, the stall routine for Overload was because of nerves. Mm. Yeah, like, I, nice. I couldn't even really stand up, let alone dance. I wanted to be sat down. And mm. But so it, was that, very, it was very different. It looked really good to do it that way. Yeah. I mean, but you were very young. Yeah, so young. It was about, I was about 15, I think it was. And then yeah. 16. And I'm not surprised you were nervous. I mean, that's very <laughs> young to have all of that kind of focus on you. It's, it's, you. You talk about the fact that you grew up as friends, but there was this moment, wasn't there, when you split up. And I mean, as splits go, yours was described as pretty acrimonious. So how do we get from that point to the point where you are sitting, smiling together? Here yeah, on the sofa. Well, we were, first of all, we were so young. Mm. And um, it was only when we met back up again with the the, the thought of possibly doing music together that we realized that yeah. there was a lot of mm. things that we didn't know that happened there were a lot of people mm. around us that would tear us apart and like pull one person aside and say that so we never actually knew what the problem was i wish someone sat us down and sort of knocked our heads together because yeah. i think that you know you're too nervous to just openly communicate you know when you're that young and when we um mm. kind of met up and started hanging out again we realized that the, the problems that felt so big were really small and mm. and sort and of didn't exist anymore do you feel then that in a way people were pulling your strings and you know mm. you, yeah. you there was a lot of i think it's stuff e going on yeah. when we were younger and i think it's easy because i think then you sort of gain that sort of power when You've got more mm. of a divide going on, but like now we're thick as thieves, and we're like, oh no, and we, we spotted from a mile away. You put a positive team around you, like we we have the power to do that, and we have done that, so it's really lovely now. Would it be fair to say that your relationship, at the time, flatlined? <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, that's the name you of your there. new single, <laughs> Flatline. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. There you go. Here we go. Let's have a look. Which is why you had to go to Los Angeles to. Films, Venice Beach. Um, yeah. what, is, what do you think? What is different for you this time around the way you work together in the music? Because you've got an album, oh you've just finished. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll be out next mm -hmm. year. Um, I think now we just have a very clear idea of who we are individually, first of mm -hmm. all, and how we work together as well. We really do trust each other. We, um, you know, we basically A&R our album. We 
of just being very positive. You A and R'd your album. What's that mean? Uh, a and R. That's like, like we we got the list of producers together. We contact them. Yeah, and you chose the people. Mm -hmm. who yeah, yeah. yeah, it was important to us that um, you know we explored all avenues. Yeah. We all liked very different genres of music, and I think it's the blend uh, when it comes together. That's what's really special about this band. Is so. it really weird that while you are MKS, there is this kind of constantly shape-shifting sugar babes entity out there at the same time, living in a sort of parallel musical well, universe? I don't think they're actually doing anything at the moment, but yeah. I think for <clears> us, people will say, oh yeah, the original sugar babes, and we don't mind because that's who we are, and we never run away from that. We're like, yeah, sugar babes, definitely. But we love the new name, probably <laughs> because of that. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it was about a fresh start, and um, sort of acknowledging that, you know, this time for us, it is about the three of us, and yeah, about, you know, what we set out to do originally. And, and, and you're setting about things in, in a different way, in the sense that previously you were driven around in limousines all the time. Now you're actually going by public transport? Sometimes. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes. Oh, here we go. Yeah, we <laughs> not <laughs> not well, Those of you who can work out where you're going on public transport, is that... Is that I wasn't even that. Yeah. I, I, I'm, yeah. yeah, I'm not very good <laughs> with me, changing me overs and, yeah. We, when we first... <laughs> When we first got back together, like I take the tube all the time. For me, it's like it's, yeah. the, it's the best way Whereas of getting we around London. Were picked up and dropped off, and I actually sold my car and I was supposed to get another one. Then one day, I was stuck and I was like, "There's no taxis." Shrom's like, "Get on the train." I got on the train. It was the most amazing experience ever, and I was like, "You can get there so quickly." And then we got Mutual <laughs> involved. Yeah, I was. This train I was is never. The locomotive business. It's revolutionary. It's I know. It's amazing. It's the quickest way around. It's like you'd have to sit in traffic. And and you don't need to tell people they know Mutual. <laughs> <I know. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got a car. Sorry. Today. We love it. We love, love it, it, honestly. Love it. Get out there. Try it. I it's do. Public try it. I can't help it now. I love to I jump love in it. on it. But, the, the, one, you know, back in the limelight, you know, you might get, you, you get spotted shortly. We do. Oh, yeah, we do. I, I was sat next to someone who was actually listening to one of our old albums, sitting oh. on the train, and Mutia actually bought something in. It was this newspaper clipping, and she was like, got this off a guy on the train. I was like, excuse me, can I have that? It was us in the paper, and he was like, oh, here you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And when you, you heard the music coming through the earphone, so the person sitting next to you, did you tap them on the she shoulder? She started singing along. I didn't, I just sort of looked and he just looked up and was <laughs> like, oh my God, I'm listening uh, to you. Oh, he <laughs> did realise yeah. you were there. No, he didn't, I was just sitting next to him. I was like, oh, looked and nice. he looked up and he was like, Oh my god. I've been on the tube and they've been reading um, ES magazine and reading our article next door oh, as well. That's great. Like, oh, uh, you, going, you, be, you will be performing again though, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. We've got a tour coming up in November. Right. November. Mm -hmm. So when you start, will there be nerves? Will you have to sit on stools to begin with? <laughs> <laughs> no. we do that Just for, for the, the one routine, song. For yeah. the one song. But yeah, we go on tour and we're so excited about it and can't wait to see our fans. Mm. Yeah. So yeah. It's really amazing. Brilliant. Well, it's great to see you. Thanks so Thank much. Thank you. Thanks for having us. MKS, of course, this morning, for one morning, you could have called yourselves not the Sugar Babes, but the Sofa Babes, would that work? Oh, the Sofa Babes. Well, there you go, it is a new one. Okay, thanks um, very much. The MKS Thank single you. Flatline is out now. We're going to speak to the author of the Jack Reacher thrillers, Lee Child, in just a moment. Before we do, here's a last quick look at what's happening where you are this morning. See you in a moment.